Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. Well, I was at the market the other day and got a few things that were on sale. Kind of got my creative mind juices flowing, whatever. And so today we're going to make a really kind of off the wall breakfast, but should be really tasty. We're going to have bacon wrapped lobster tail and we're going to serve that with chili chilies. So stay tuned. To see how this all comes together, I think you're really going to like it. First thing we want to do is we're going to um, cut this tail on top. And the reason we want to do that is to infuse the... Uh, bacon juices into the lobster tail as it cooks. We're going to wrap this. So we'll just cut it right down the middle. And then we're going to take and wrap the bacon around the lobster tail. There we go. And then that flavor of that bacon should infuse into that tail and also steam it in the shell. So I'm going to cook the bacon wrapped lobster tail in this pan to help control the, the splatter of the bacon and get all that goodness captured in there because we're going to need it later. I've also taken the liberty to cut up some tortilla strips for chilaquiles, and I just got to warm up the pan of oil. Okay, so we have the pan of oil hot. We're going to add some fresh tortilla pieces in here and get those cooking. So, you know, chilaquiles is basically uh, nachos made with salsa instead of cheese sauce. And there are different ways of making it throughout Mexico. So, some people, for example, may use egg or not. Some people may put cheese or not. Basically, if you take some fried chips and cook them in salsa, I think you got the idea. And that should be enough chips for our single meal. We're just going to basically make enough for one. So you know they're done when they change color. This is kind of a bright yellow and then it turns kind of brown. So they're done. We're going to take these out and finish frying the rest of them. I didn't have any paper towels, so I'm going to get rid of the grease with the strainer. And a metal bowl. And we'll put the rest of these in. There we go. So we have, uh, we did turn the bacon and let that cook a couple minutes on that side, and then we'll turn it again. So I added some tomatoes in here. Because I don't have all the ingredients to make a fresh salsa. And these fresh tomatoes cooked down will uh, help to brighten up the uh, jarred salsa. So give a little more of a, a fresh bite to it. 
So I apologize to anyone who is offended by the fact that I didn't make the salsa fresh. But it will still taste delicious nonetheless. Okay, we've just about got that bacon cooked on all sides. We're going to start heating the salsa in the same pot so we get the flavor from the bacon and the lobster into the salsa. Uh, the last of the uh, tortilla chips are almost done. Okay, so I had some salsa left from another recipe. Mix in with those fresh tomatoes. Going to let that warm up. And we're going to add just a little bit more of another salsa. Just chip salsa, but it works really well. Okay, so in this plate, I dumped the oil out. I'm going to put the bacon back in to render it down some more. And then I'm going to cut up that little lobster tail. And we're going to add this little thing back in. This is going to be so delicious. And we just want to cut it in some little chunks. Hope you're enjoying this. Give it a try. If you get the opportunity, lobster tails are in season right now. So you can get a decent price. I'm going to wash off my hands. Okay. Give that a little stir. We want to render down that bacon a little more. We got our salsa cooking away over here now. You want to add in your chips. This is what makes chilaquiles chilaquiles. You cook the chips and the salsa. This is going to be so yummy. Get that all coated good. And you'll be like, well, you're fried them. They're not going to be crunchy anymore. Oh, yes. You're not going to cook them until they turn to mush. You just want to get them good and coated. Something like that. And then... We'll turn the heat down and let that sit for a little bit. Okay. Here comes the surprise and the final ingredient. And you can use fresh eggs. I got these because I didn't want to carry a carton of eggs. And we're going to make some scrambled eggs infused with bacon and lobster. Mmm. This is going to go on top of our chilaquiles. Good stuff. Okay, I'm stirring the tortillas. I'm going to turn the fire off on those tortilla chips because they are done. We just got to cook up these eggs. And then we can plate this thing. Let me get a spatula. That's the wrong spoon. My big burner finally gave up. I'm going to have to do some repair. I ordered a new burner. 
I'll be glad when it comes in. In the meantime, we're making do with the small burners. If you've been following our videos, I've talked about my burner issues in the past. And yep, it finally failed. And I didn't have a new one. So, anyway, that will be getting fixed this week. And that is just scrumptious right there. Okay. Now we plate. And there you have it. Chilaquiles with bacon lobster scrambled egg on top and a little bit of lime on the side. Only thing left, give it a taste. Okay. We're going to give this a taste. I have to sit here because I'm having a little bit of a lighting issue. I've been trying to use these singlet programmable lights from Amazon and they just don't work good. They keep losing sync with the Alexa and then you can't change them and it gets to be a real problem. Anyway, moving on to the breakfast we got set up. Here is the Achilles. Let's taste that tortilla with the salsa first. Mm. Mm hmm. Still getting a little bit of crunch. Mmm. Uh, wonderful salsa flavor. That's really good. Then we're going to squirt a little lime juice. Let's try that bacon from the egg. Oh, there's bacon and lobster. There's a piece of lobster right there. Mm hmm And the bacon. Oh. Mm. Mm. That was really good. Mm. Oh. Got the lime juice taste off of that bite of chip with that tomato salsa. So we're getting some acid to go with, uh, with this. Let's put some egg with a chip like that. Mmm. Whoops. Crunchy. Don't worry about them not staying crunchy. They're crunchy. Mmm. Mm-hmm. I would say this is a really big, big success. Mm. I love lime. Recommend it. Get it while it, the lobster tails are still on sale. And try and do a bacon wrap. Um, do the bacon wrap lobster. It really just puts a lot of flavor into the entire dish. You can use whatever kind of salsa that you like. Uh, I went with this one because I got to take it easy on the chili on my stomach right now. But um, it's so flavorful, so just robust. And the chips came out really good. I think this you would really like this for breakfast. So people say, what's the difference between this and migas? If you've ever heard of migas, migas are when you fry the tortilla chips and then you mix in scrambled egg with the chips. And some people add cheese and some people add meat to it. But basically, it's fried corn tortilla chips, corn tortilla chips with uh, scrambled egg mixed in with the chips. Um, or chilaquiles is cooked in salsa and uh, fried and then cooked in the salsa. Okay, and then whatever extra you want to put on, eggs or cheese or whatever, sour cream. Avocado would be really good. Mm, here's that lobster. Mm. Do whatever you want with it. It's your breakfast. Enjoy. Have a great day. Click the like button and subscribe to the channel. We appreciate you. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.